guys welcome back to no catch name it's me ella today is thursday no today's friday <laughs> um i think that it's 15th i'm pretty sure <laughs> pretty sure that i saw that anyways today i'm gonna share some happy mail that i got in the mail um one is the giveaway that i won one is something i purchased and two is happy mail from people <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to hop in here and share it with you guys real quick and I'm going to talk about my labels, too, because I have a lot of people asking me all the time where I get my bag labels. So, I guess I'll do that first. I had to order some more. I usually order them in two sheets of 40. Get them out of plastic so they don't um, glare. I get them from an Etsy shop called um, Ever Emblem. She also has a regular website. I just keep ordering to her Etsy shop because I can just hit the reorder button. Because I've been ordering from her for a couple years, I think. Ooh, I got a sticker. <laughs> but, um... She sends them really nice. There's a gnat in here. Good lord. But it's Ever Emblem. I'll link it down below. I'll link down her Etsy shop and her regular shop if you want to check it out. And then she has instructions on the back on how to um, sew them on or iron them on and about cutting them. You can um, pre-cut, but it costs like $5 more and I like to save money. So, and I, I have rubber cutter and all that. So, I buy mine in sheets. You send her your design and she makes tags and then she'll send you like a... Um, like a preview so you can approve it or whatever so here's my tags this is one tag right here when i cut cut them out and then i fold them over when i sew them so it's got the label on one side and it's blank on the other side or i can they also iron on or uh you can just sew them on like flat you know on something but you can there's all different sizes you can pick from and uh you can pick different colors i'm pretty sure i always just go with black because it, then it goes with everything um but this is just a little logo that i designed a long time ago on something i can't remember now i think maybe um canva or something and i've just been sticking with it because i like it a lot <laughs> but i always order two sheets of 40 so it's 80 tags and then when i get down to like two of these little sections left um i reorder <laughs> so it's usually every month or so every usually like probably every two months i would say because you know it's 80 bags <laughs> it, they last pretty well but these are mine. Yeah, I love these. I've been buying them, like I said, for a few years from her. I absolutely love. She always gets back to me like that, and uh, she ships super fast. I usually, like, if I were to order them on a Monday, I would get them, like, by that weekend, usually. Uh, even during COVID. And she had, like, a warning that it might take longer because of all that stuff, but it never did. <laughs> it always, They always came right when I needed them. And uh, they're always perfect quality, and I love them. I love them to death. I will always use her uh, website. She is in Michigan. And I believe she's a student, or she was when I first started ordering uh, from her. I don't know if she still is. But every time you order from her, she gives you a card. And on the back of it, it's got a coupon code for 10% um, off your order. And this is the coupon code for her actual website, which is everemblem.com. But there's also one for her Etsy. But I just have it memorized because I've ordered so many times and I always use it. So it always takes off a little bit of money. I think uh, when I order, it's usually... Just over $30 for 80 labels. And that's just the particular ones I have. They're different prices for different sizes. Mine, are, I think, are 1 inch by 2 inch, I think. I think they're 1 inch wide and 2 inch long. Um, but like I said, it varies. The prices vary by the size you get and the, and the logo and everything. But anyways, and the last two times I ordered, I got a sticker. So this time I got a ball of yarn, which is cool. I think she knows because I crochet to, um, to send me that. And then last time I got... A logo i think it was just her logo it's on my craft cart i suck it on there so i'll probably stick that on there but that's so cool but uh she is such a nice person uh, every time i ever had to communicate with her it was just nice and smooth and once i talked about her and a lot of y'all went and ordered labels and then she ended up sending me a bunch of free ones it was really cool a bunch of different sizes so she's a really nice person but anyways go check her out and you can put those on crochet things or sewn things or anything so it's really neat all right now to the giveaway that i won there's a hair on it. That's probably one of my hairs. <laughs> um, this is from Valerie at Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing. She does giveaways, um, I think, every week. And one week it's Snoopy, and then the next week it's Willy Wonka. And to be honest, I really was hoping I'd get the Willy Wonka one. But I got a Snoopy one, which I'm still equally excited about. Um, you can go over to her channel. I'll link it below, and you can figure out how to enter her giveaways there. But, uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I already opened it, <laughs> and Jesse's already claimed things out of it. But, um, let me open it again. So first there's this cute little, um, congratulations card with, uh, Woodstock on it. 
And then she makes these little balls of yarn. Well, she doesn't make them, but she like she picks them out. They're like those bonbons that don't have names. And then she puts names on them. She makes names. So this one is baseball mitt. <laughs> and then this bright orange one is peppermint Patty's hair, which Jessie thought was hilarious. And then I got a yellow one that is Woodstock. Jesse wants these balls of yarn. <laughs> he has claimed them. This I had to hide from him because this kid, this boy loves hand sanitizer. And he uses it way too much when we give it to him. So I got a hand sanitizer, which I will hide it probably in the diaper bag. I already got one in there, but you know, you can never have too much of that <laughs> when you're changing diapers out in the world. But it's got um, Lucy. It's Lucy, right? I think so. I don't know a whole lot about the uh, peanuts. I just watched the holiday episodes. <laughs> And then there's a Snoopy Easter egg, which Jesse wants. And inside the Easter egg is some stitch markers. So there's a ball of yarn. It's very shiny. <laughs> and then there's a paw print. And Snoopy. I think he's wearing a no, he's holding Woodstock. I thought he was wearing a scarf, but he's got Woodstock in his in his arms. So Jesse wants the egg. I'm gonna give him the egg when I get done and then there was a um package on this but it is different color snoopy post-its which i'm keeping <laughs> i like those i use post-its a lot and then this is another notebook it's just lined paper jesse wants this too and then there was some of those on the go crochet hooks i have another i have two more sets of these one that my mom bought me a long time ago and then one that I got in another half mil, and now this one. So it's a three millimeter, a five millimeter, and a four millimeter. So it's a, what is that, an E? No, a, yeah, E, a G, and a H. And then there's this cute keychain. It's got uh, Charlie on one side and his sister on the other side. Maybe she's Lucy. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been so long since I watched them. I haven't watched them since Christmas time. And then there's a magnet of Snoopy and Woodstock, and it's one of those like glass things. So that's cool. I love these kind of magnets. I use them on my, we have like a marker board in the kitchen that we put like bills and stuff on. I use them on that. And lastly, there are some socks. It's got the boy who likes his blankie, which I can't remember his name. Linus and Snoopy. I believe it's Linus because it's the Linus project, right? So that's a super cute little goodie box and she did say Valerie said that they're kind of similar each box but they're also a little different I really wanted the Willy Wonka one because it's got the mushroom pins in it and I love Willy Wonka and all that but I love Snoopy too so I'm happy just the fact that I won is happy and I still have a chance to win the other one because you, you can win one of each and she's doing it up through I think November and then I think she said she's gonna do another giveaway in November I can't remember exactly but I'm excited and Jesse also wants this box, <laughs> so I'm gonna give him this box. But so that was the one I bought, and then the giveaway. So this next one is a cookbook from Janelle. She actually has sent me a lot of Happy Mail over the, a little while, and um, then she mentioned she knows that I like asking people about you know what they're cooking for dinner. So she sent me a recipe book that she and her family and friends put together. So it's actually her recipes along with I believe her husband's and uh some family friends in there so it's really cool but um so here it is i, I left her note on there <laughs> but there's her uh you know it's just like a cool it's got like a spine but it's also spiral bound these are all the ones i have tagged that i want to make <laughs> so i got a lot of them tagged but she's got all kinds of, it's nice big print too which i appreciate because my eyes have to get worse but it's just all kinds of recipes and i got a whole bunch of them marked that i want to start making one of my plans for vlogtober this year I got the Nightmare for Christmas recipe book gifted to me last year from Rebecca. And um, for Vlogtober, I want to try to make some stuff out of that throughout Vlogtober. I thought that'd be fun. So I might work on this in Vlogist, which is starting up pretty soon. In August, I'm going to start doing, I'm going to do my crochet videos. And then some days I'll have two videos come out and that'll be my Vlogist, my vlogs. So uh, they're just going to be vlogs of what we're doing. So if you're not interested in that, you just skip them. But uh, I thought I might start doing some of these for it because it'd be fun to um, try out her recipes and share them with you guys. Mm -hmm. Alright, then the last Happy Meal that I have to show you is um, fabric. And it's also got this card. I have a whole bunch of these. I bought them on clearance 
a couple of years ago at Hobby Lobby clearance. I, they had like six or seven packs. I bought them all. <laughs> and I'm still using them. But this is from her. Her name is Mary. And um, she's got a note in there. But I'm not going to read the note. So She sent me a bunch of really cute fabrics. This first one is of like a panel that you cut out and sew. Uh, it's a doll. So I'll probably, I'm going to try to make this for June. So there's the doll's body. And then it's also got the fabric to make her little dress and this little purse. And it's got like these little dolls. It's like the doll has dolls. <laughs> but it's really cute. I'm going to try to make that for June. Eventually. I'm um, No rush. I guess she won't be playing with it for a while. <laughs> but there's also like a little sewing machine. Which is cute. But, so that's pretty cool. Definitely gonna make that for the baby when she is bigger. All right, and these ones are like birthday themed ones I thought were neat because then I could make birthday bags for people. And then like maybe mine birthday next year, I could have like a birthday giveaway and make a birthday bag to give away. And I said that twice. <laughs> so this one is just a print that says happy birthday and it's got balloons and confetti, which is super cute. And then this one I thought would be a cute liner. It's got candles. And this one is cakes. They're all upside down. <laughs> really pretty cakes. And then this one would be good just for celebration of any type, you know. If I just wanted to celebrate like a milestone or whatever. Get just balloons and confetti and stuff. It's really pretty. Okay. And then these ones I thought would be good for liners. So there's blue and green. Like It's got like uh, triangles. The blue one has like green triangles and the green one has white triangles. So those would be good liner fabrics. And then there's two that's black and white polka dots. Different sizes, little dots and bigger dots. And then this one is like a dog theme one. It's got dog related. It says loyal friend, dreaming of you, doggy daydreams, miss you, let's curl up together. And then it's got little dogs and paw prints on it. So I thought that'd be a cute liner for a dog print, which there's a dog print in here. <laughs> so I think there's two dog prints. No, yeah. So there's this dog print. It's got wiener dogs. <laughs> and then there is this one. It's a bigger print. So those are cute. And then, all right, now I'll just go through this one. So this one is super cute. It's like craft room storage. That's gonna make a really cute bag. <laughs> These will all be bags eventually. And this is a cat print, like cats in the windows. That's so cute. And a lot of people love cats, so this will probably do really good. People probably like this a lot. It feels like a couple of yards. And then there's cupcakes. A few years ago, I did a crochet along with Mo from Unseen Strands. I don't think she makes videos anymore. I haven't seen her in forever. Um, and I was looking for cupcake yarn, and I could not find any at the time. I'm not yarn. <laughs> Fabric. And then here's one. <laughs> So, if I ever do another cake along, make along, which is where you use yarn cakes to make stuff, I might use this as the winner. <laughs> and then there's this really cute zebra print, and it's zebras with like pops of color, rainbow color. And like over here's the other colors. Super duper cute. And then there's this print, which has like, like positive quotes, I think. <laughs> Let me open it so I can read them. And yeah, they're upside down. To me or that's what I mean uh yeah it's like I believe when we extend our hearts towards those in need we also heal something important with ourselves so it's just got like positive quotes in it <laughs> make bags out of that maybe eventually Whew. okay and the last one I know is gonna be really popular these bags are gonna go lightning fast <laughs> uh, because they are yarn related so it's got sheep and yarn it's got like yarn hearts and it's got, I think that's a knitting needle. It's just one knitting needle though. <laughs> but it's got the little sheep on there. And it's just really cute. So I know these are going to be popular because people love the sheep and people love the yarn. So that's all that beautiful fabric. It's a lot of fabric. And it's really nice fabric. I can't wait to start cutting into that and using it. But these won't be the next update. The next update, I already have fabric laid out for it. Um... There's going to be some random size drawstring bags and zipper bags because I'm just using up scrap bits. And then there's going to be regular, like, bigger size, um, I believe, zipper project bags is going to be the next update, which should be next week sometime. What is today's Friday? So, yeah, maybe by next weekend sometime. Uh, I would like to try to get those out. 
And so the, some of these fabrics will be in the update after that. And I don't know, some of these larger ones I will probably make tote bags out of because um, they're larger prints, you know. Especially like this cat one because this cat print is a pretty big print. So I'll probably make some of the tote bags, like the shoulder size, you know, tote bags. Um, and then ones with smaller prints I can make like drawstring bags out of. I don't know. I'll just I'll figure it out when I get closer to that time. But uh, thank you so much, Mary, for the fabric. And thank you so much, Janelle, for your book. I've had that for a while. I'll just keep forgetting to show it. And I do have a lot of stuff marked in there. <laughs> uh, I was actually going to make some of it this weekend. But I already had, like, meals planned out. So I didn't want to, like, throw off my groove. <laughs> but, um, and a couple of these recipes, I've tried similar ones. But I want to try your version so that I can, um, you know, compare them. And this one's like a brownie mix. Jesse loves brownies. So I thought I'd make that for him. He loves brownies and muffins. <laughs> and this one, you know, that's just, I'll, I'll share them maybe when I do them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. So I guess that's it for this episode. I'm already done. <laughs> but I'm going to hop up here and put all this fabric where it goes and give Jesse the Snoopy stuff that he wanted. <laughs> and I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.